So near the end of 2021, I made a trip to Penang Island with my family, a trip that is now documented in a series of vlogs. And then, not two weeks after safely returning and spending a quiet New Year's at home, we found ourselves in a car once again heading north towards Penang. This time, to attend a cousin's wedding. And this time, not to the island, but to a little town on the mainland. And so here is the unexpected continuation to the vlog series. So we are currently in Penang, but not the island. We are on the mainland side of things. This area is called Bukit Metajam. In Hokkien, we say Tua Suaka, which literally means the foot of the great mountain. And the great mountain in question, I plan to climb tomorrow, if the weather permits. So this place is supposed to feature some kind of curry flavoured takui kak So we're here to see if it's any good I think this is a normal flavour one Alright I'll try the curry one so There's quite a bit of seafood that comes with the food With the kuih kak Cockles and squid and stuff But I'm more of a The kuih kak itself kind of person The kuih itself is pretty good But the Cases, I think, not as good as some of the good ones in the main or the island. So I'd say the verdict on this is: if you come here, make sure you get the takui kak that has curry. The curry stuff is the good one. So this is the Van Gogh Eminent Hotel, Van Gogh Eminent. It's where we're staying and it's also where the wedding banquet will be held. It's kind of hot. The air conditioning is taking a while to kick in. Anyway, in about two hours or so, we'll be having dinner 
at my uncle's place, I think. So we'll be chilling around and resting until then. So we're heading to my uncle's place for dinner now. Probably not gonna film too much of that. back in the hotel that pretty much does it for today tomorrow morning I'll be climbing a mountain just like with Penang Hill that probably will not be in the vlog so probably I'll be catching you after the hike tomorrow so yeah. need the sustenance. <laughs> so we're actually heading out to Penang Island as the case would be to get some nice food because we still think the island food is a bit better so we are apparently making a short trip there before the wedding tonight. Thoughts on the hiking would have to wait. We'll get back to that. Okay, scratch that. We are not going to the island because my uncle from the island has already come over to this side and he's gonna recommend us something. So we're just gonna eat something here. So the other stall is closed, so this is just a random place, we'll see if it's any good. Yeah. 
right. That was a surprisingly decent meal. Would have been good even on the island, I would say. Not among the best. But for a random place, it's pretty good. Uh. <sighs> it's weather. funny about this hotel it's called Van Gogh Eminent and I just assumed that they were referring to the famous artist but it's not spelled that way Van Gogh is spelled G-O-G-H I'm pretty sure but this hotel is G-O-H-H -H. so I'm not sure if that was the intended reference or it's something else Right, so I'm back in the hotel now. My parents and my uncle is gonna have some drinks somewhere while I'm back in the room so that I can take a nice little nap before the wedding banquet tonight. Back to what I thought about the hike this morning. It was pretty good. Very nice view at the top. Nothing too interesting on the way up, but the payoff was pretty great. It's not as tall as Penang Hill that I did, you know, a couple of weeks ago. But at 500 plus meters, it is still more than enough of a workout for someone as out of shape as I am. So, enjoyed the hike. Wish I could do more in colder weather because it's extremely hot today, by the way. So worth noting here that I did not, in fact, do this hike alone. My elder cousin actually took me there, drove me to the trailhead and basically accompanied me all through the way. And he is far fitter than I am. And I know what it's like to have to, you know, be off your own rhythm because you're constantly waiting for someone, especially when that someone is A, fat and unfit, B, constantly stopping to get footage. And yet he still went with me the whole way through. So really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And now for that nap I was talking about. Good night. over. Now, given that I am not normally fond of wedding banquets, this one was okay as far as wedding banquets go. Uh, my cousin's bride turns out to be a pretty good singer. Congratulations to them. Oh